Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episode 11 of Yamada Kun. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> the one time, once again, we could we could just skip the open, just start the episode, continue the episode. <laughs> Oh. Same kidding, me too. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the moment, like, excuse me. No, no, just friends. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Do not chop the phone. <laughs>
Depression. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, you'll do fine. Holy shit! <laughs> Judging the damn thing can heal itself. It's going to leave. Oh, I want that hint, please. <laughs> I don't say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> or anything else. Or in persona, when the fucking thing get boring, but like, hey, oh, I'm out. <laughs> At least you don't have to play with her. No.
Because look at him! He's gorgeous! <laughs> The only thing that he can do is just say no. That's all. He can or he can just say, hey, you know, thank you. I'm flattered, but I'm sorry. And yeah, rejection hurts. <laughs> Very quaint. Alcohol. Right, I know. I thought this would be like a meaningful chat of, oh my god, I want to confess. Da 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 da. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, damn. Damn. And they're about to sit next to you, too? Oh, God. They... <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm just about done. I got like five minutes left. So we'll talk in five minutes, okay? Oh, no, no, no. No, that's the guy. That's the type of guy that you want to date, that you want to take home to see your mama, your dad, your dog. Mm -hmm. I know. Too hot, guys? Yes. Right? Right? When we off the clock, we off the clock. Don't ask me anything about work until the next freaking day I have to come in. Don't ask me to stay nothing. When I'm done, I'm done. Of course, it's about Yamada. And of course, we gotta wait till next fucking week. Ah! Ah! I'm dying. I don't wanna wait until next Saturday. Is next Saturday the last episode, though? Oh. <sighs> 
Panic. Panic attack. Ah! I don't know how to feel. But it was cute. Like, I, I love the fact that, you know, slowly but surely, like, Akane is like, yes. No, we got one more week. We got one more week. Thank God. 13 episodes. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I love how she is just... 100% sure that, yeah, she's falling for him and that she wants to confess to Yamana, but it's just like, mm, don't know how to say the words, what are the right words to say. And even with her saying, like, I just wanted to hear your voice. It is so freaking cute. You just... It's adorable. Us as women, we, we love it when we, when we get to hear our significant other's voice and we get to talk to them about, you know, their day, our day, our problems, and everything else. But once again, love is love. And mm -hmm, me, the hopeless romantic type girl and such, and who falls in love with love, but can't find it. <laughs> Are we trying again? <laughs> in the main quest. <laughs> I'm so cute. <laughs> Still got that ass handed to him. But let's just talk about the fact that, yes, Akane finally wants to confess to him. Also, let's talk about the fact Momo. Momo, like, is seeing um, Eta at the restaurant and, and just thinking, like, damn, two guys, two hot guys in this game you're playing? Like, instantly, if I was in Momo's shoes and I have a friend who is playing something and you end up meeting someone on there, that whether you are there strictly for trying to find a relationship, which majority or less at the end of the day, not many people are. You're just on a game or whatever just to have a nice, fun time and such. Instantly, you would have thought, Mom would be like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to play this game too. I'm going to see <laughs> what I can find out because you never really know where you can find lasting impressions and friendships and relationships on like anywhere. I, I think like probably the one place I would not do is Omegle. I've never done it myself. I, I found and gained friendships mainly through fucking YouTube and everything. And then, you know, Twitter and other things. And sometimes Snapchat, but more or less, that's more of like my friends from high school and everything. And then Instagram is a mixture of both YouTube and my high school friends. Um, I don't really use Facebook because I feel like Facebook is dead. So... <laughs> So that's just my thing on that. But I mean, yeah, like seriously. And I, I've even wanted that like so many freaking times that Momo should just go ahead and start playing the game because you never know who you're going to meet. But yeah, you always have to be like cautious on everyone who you meet online because you never know their intentions. So be smart. Always trust your gut instinct. And if something bad happens between you and that person, you have a phone for a reason, you can screenshot everything. That's all I'm going to say about that and such. Duh. But always treat others the same way that you want to be treated. Pure them with kindness and such. But yes, hopefully by these last two episodes, Momo will finally get the hit and just join the rest of the group. I would love that. Hopefully. I would love to see that more in season two. Momo, just do it. Okay. I mean, we all know you had a bad day and then those two decided to like come in and just ruin the whole day. Mmm, no. Just play the game. <laughs>
That's all I'm gonna say about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of Yamada-kun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 12. Bye, guys.